Alright, we're back in the duck call room. For those of you that are watching this on the Duck Commander YouTube channel, we love having you watch and chat with us, but pretty soon, there's going to only be one place to watch new episodes of the Duck Call Room every Tuesday and Thursday, and that will be the brand new Duck Call Room YouTube channel. So if you want to keep on watching on YouTube, head on over to youtube.com slash duckcallroom, that's all one word, Duck Call Room, and subscribe for free. Be sure and hit the bell to tell YouTube you want a notification when there's a new episode. Also, leave us ratings and reviewings on whichever podcast app that you use so that all your friends can find us and don't miss out on any of the new material. Sigh! Bell! Boom. Everybody say hello to Philip's little friend. Hello, hello. The little duck. What are we talking about? He's talking about this the right here. Duck. Quack. Wank, wank. Okay. I speak duck I, language. Okay. He speaks duck I've, language. I'm beginning to see a trend when <laughs> Phil is on the show. Sai gets crazy. Sai gets even yeah. weirder than he already is. <laughs> yeah. Phil, and it's, Phil I, you're out. Phil, did you, do you Boom. drive him here? Oh, yeah, because I'll never ride with him again. He's almost killed me so many times in a vehicle. Finally, it's like Mark Brister. I won't ride with him. And Sai, I won't ride with him. I'm, I'm just saying, I feel like y'all have time together, and y'all say, hey, what weird stuff can we talk about tonight? Oh, yeah. Well. On the way here. Apart- what did you want, sir? <laughs> you addressed me. That was and like- then I went off on a little friend. Wow. Shocker. Yeah. But, We've been there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We were there on Tuesday, so okay. I guess it, nothing changed between well, Tuesday hey, and yeah, Thursday. Hey. But anyway. Been only two days. Cy, si, what, what have you been up to since I saw you Tuesday? Well, y'all liked it. Uh-oh. Sadie invited me to be on her podcast. Sadie's got a podcast. Okay. On the and Whoa, look, That's Good podcast. And hey, look, I yes. actually. Whoa, That's Good. Uh, whoa. Yeah, they did it in here. No. And hey, look, I actually learned something. She sat in my seat. Which is a shocker. <laughs> do You do not realize how important you may be. Me? Yeah. Him, him, me, our cameraman and all them people over there. Okay. You what? never realize your potential. Because I found out that when Willie, Phil turned the business over to Boss Hog Willie Robertson. So, being a businessman, Willie looked at all the money and all the people he had hired and all this stuff, okay? And the first thing in his head was... To fire you. No, no. He's got he's to gotta trim the fat so to speak, in this company. You didn't know this story? No, 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 no. I didn't. So the first thing out of Willie's mouth on the podcast with Sadie was, uh, you don't know, but hey, when I took over the business and I looked at everything, hey, I knew I had to fire some people, and he said, and guess who was the first on the list? And I said, uh, I got a good guess. It's probably <laughs> me. Now why, now, why would he want to fire you? No, no, you? no, no. You know, so, he's told that story on this podcast. Thanks for listening when you were here. He? Yeah. He told the story because he said he was going to get rid of you because you just slept all day. <laughs> no, no, well, no, no. Because, so, look, he said, he says, I looked at it, I looked at it in every it. direction from all angles, and he said, you know, all you do is sleep. And I said, no, wrong answer. <laughs> I said, hey, I do the duck call reads, and without the reads, there ain't no quack, quack. Okay, I said, so, hey, and he said, well, I want to talk to your brother. And I said, well, what did my brother tell you? And he said, well, he gave me some advice. I said, what was it? He said, "Uh, you better leave Si alone. He does the reads, and nobody wants that job. So, hey, you leave him alone. And I said, I said, you didn't know you had a diamond in the rough, did you? So that's why I told each of you, you never know about your potential. Because, hey, if Willie had not taken my brother's advice, there would have been no Duck Dynasty, folks. Thank you. It's pretty cool. There would be, this podcast probably would be <laughs> twice as boring. That's okay, there confirmed. You there you go. You, I'm, so, I'm amazed. You know, Willie tells that story like all over the country. Oh, I've Because I heard travel it. with him, and he, yeah. when he's... Well, see, I never he's, heard it. Because he always tells a story like he's made some good decisions in business, and he's like, but I almost made a really, <laughs> really bad one. Yeah, that's what I told him. I said, that was, hey, that's the best advice you have ever taken from 
anyone. <laughs> I said, because, hey, if you had fired me, this world would be totally different. Somebody would have found you, though. No. You're too crazy not to end up. No, here. no. That's true, J.D. I yeah, somebody he would have been on me. Pawn Stars. He's in the jailhouse hey, what you, Yeah, what you don't understand is I got the big guy working for me. Thank you. Okay, he's on my side. Guaranteed. <laughs> That's amazing. I try no, to. No. Let's. Okay, I'll 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 bite. Mm-hmm. What would you no, have no. done had you gotten fired? You weren't ready to retire that, yet. Where no, do you, where no, do you no, move no, on? No, let me, no, where no, do you let go me to? guess. Let me guess, Martin. What would Cy have done had he not worked for? Uh, Willie and did Duck Dynasty. So if in 2000, what was it, 2004, 2005 when Willie took over, that's that's 16 years ago now. What I would Cy si Robertson I have would done? Fix hey, hey, Christine would probably divorce me, and I would be homeless under a bridge somewhere living in a cardboard box. Down by the river. Uh, hey, there's one thing I, I have can no guarantee. I have no idea. I'm there's, serious. There's one thing I can guarantee you. You wouldn't live in a triple wide. <laughs> Well, that's true. It ain't a triple Y. It's <laughs> prefabbed. And we just about killed Johnny D. But what, no, no, that's a good question because, hey. Well, that's why I'm asking you. What, what, what would you have done? What, 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 At that point in your life, what was left on Cy Robertson's list of things to do? Oh, like, no, no, golly, no, 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 if no, I just that, had the opportunity, I would be a. Hey, that would have been rider. devastating. Okay, really. Okay, because look, I'm in Alabama, and I'm miserable, okay? Is this where you're working at the golf course? Yeah, yeah. He may have still so, been in no, the no. golf course. Yeah, because, hey, I was miserable, okay? And Christine would ever once in a while bring it up, you know, you know, she said, you ain't happy, you know. I said, well, hey, you know, it's just you know, it's a deadbeat job. Anyway, you know, so I'd call Phil and talk to him, see what was up, what he was doing, you know, how the duck hunting and all that was going, fishing and all that. And he said, hey, you need to just – Chuck it to that bunch in Alabama. Come over here and work for me. And I said, "Well, can you really afford me?" You know. And he said, and he "Well, said, hey, you ain't gonna get paid much." You know. <laughs> <laughs> he huh. said, "But hey, you'll eat well. You know, we'll fish, That's... duck hunt, and you'll and you'll have to duck hunt every day." Okay. So hey, I just said, "Okay." I told the woman one day. <laughs> you know, she come home had a big argument with her boss or something. wasn't wasn't satisfied either. And I said, guess what? She's what? You know, and she's telling no, she's telling me. She said, Hey, you need to go ahead and call your brother and tell him you're you're on your way to work for him. Yeah. Well, hey, I called my daughter, okay, and say, Hey, I think your mother's dying. Yeah, because she said she would never come back to uh, Louisiana. You know, so she tells me, Hey, you need to go work for your brother. You know, and I said, Hey, I I thought she was actually dying, you know. So you know, I come over here, you know, and like like you said, to have been turned loose by the family would have been devastating because I had no alter, alternative plans. Yeah. Because this was, that's why you moved here. Yeah. So if yeah. he lets you go. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then oh, no. Then. Hey, yeah. Thanks a lot. You know. <laughs> way, to, <laughs> yeah. way to go. <laughs> you know. Good luck with your oh, business. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with your business, you turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, it would have been a a, a total deal. But uh, in retrospect, looking back on it, now, oh, hundred percent. God Almighty has blessed the Robertson family beyond belief. Oh, hundred okay? percent. I yeah. was just wondering, yeah. like, if oh, you no, ever, I, if no you idea. ever found yourself sitting there making them reads, saying, "God, if I just could get, you know, I'm." I'd here. do this. I'd do that. If I had this to do all no, over because, again, look, I'd be a. Yeah, no, no. Cause you know. I, I've had some horrible jobs. Okay. <laughs> the military was great for me because I had no idea what I wanted out of life, anything like that. Okay. So they really, the Army took care of me for 24 and a half years. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the bottom line. And, uh, you know, just, it's so amazing to see how everything, you know, Unbelievable. So, Sal, your identity really was being being with your family and being with the Robertsons and hunting and fishing. Well, see, I discussed that on on Sadie's podcast. As a youth, I had a identity crisis. Okay, because look, you got you got uh, 
you know, four brothers, older brothers, and, and an older sister, okay? Are, Jan's you, are the, you the youngest? Yeah, I'm the youngest, youngest boy. boy. He's the youngest okay, boy. I have a, 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 Jan was the youngest yeah. girl, right. you know? And all my life, all I heard, because you got to understand, the school teachers at the high schools and junior highs, they taught my whole family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so all I ever heard was when I'd done something, I, well, uh, Jimmy Frank wouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> you know, or Harold or Judy or Tommy or Phil. You know, and I'm, the whole time I'm jumping up and down going, you know, hey, it's me. The you side know, done got yeah. on that middle child syndrome. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Youngest yeah. child. Yeah. You know, and, and. He's needy. Yeah. And I didn't even really realize it. What's funny, I didn't even realize it till Al, when I come here, and Al asked me to do a, a sermon for the church. Yeah. And when I was getting it ready, I was reading through the Bible and chasing rabbits. I'd read something. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. No. And then go, oh, no, no. Every, every time I turn around, there's a rabbit running by. You know, it took me a month to get it done, you know. And in doing it, I realized, you know, that for for 12th grade, I didn't exist. Because it was always big brother, big brother, big brother, big brother, you know, big sister. Well, buddy, ain't they looking at that little brother now? Well, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Well, no. In the words of Side. Toby Keith, how do you like me now? <laughs> yes, <laughs> now? sir. No, look, no. At what, look at what little brother's no, no. doing no. now, boys. That's why I'm saying, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got your right. time to shine. Right. And when yeah. you did, you made well, some no, no, hay, Jack. Hey, that's what's so funny. Cause we all did. Yeah. Phil had told us, you know, when, when I first, you know, I'd go duck hunting with him on leave, you know. And they'd be trying to get me to tell stories and stuff. And as soon as I seen the camera, I'd freeze up. Oh, you clam let's, up. Let's, yeah. let's tell the audience right now. Really, Cy, you were really a, a shy, kind of shy person. No, time out. Time out. With people let, you didn't know. Time out. Let's tell that after we take a quick break. Right. Let's, quick get, break let's get back. We'll be right break. back. We're going to get shy guy Cy. Shy Cy. The shy, one shy. that y'all have no idea about. <laughs> so we'll be back right after this. Look, we are smack in the middle of National Credit Awareness Month. So our friends over at ScoreMaster encourage you to go and check out what your credit score is. Most of us think that above 700 is good and below 700 is bad. That's not always the case. Since it's National Credit Awareness Month, ScoreMaster, the new science and credit scores, inviting listeners, regardless of your credit score, to experience how quickly and easily you can add the plus points you need to your credit score. How many points, you might ask? The average person has 61 points they can add in their first 20 days or less. So if you're adding 60 points to your credit score, you're saving yourself tens of thousands of dollars on a vehicle loan and potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars on a home loan. So all you have to, you can save a fortune, you can save a little, you can save a lot. It helps. That's all there is to it. We even had the one listener gain like, 130 something points so that's he pretty awesome yeah i mean that's that's real money back in his pocket ScoreMaster puts you in control of your credit and finances it's national credit awareness month sign up in one minute and see how many plus points you can add with ScoreMaster, you control your credit score visit scoremaster.com slash duck that's scoremaster.com slash duck once again scoremaster.com slash duck to see just how many plus points you can add to your score So, hey, Cy, si, look, yeah. Philip kind of teased it, and there's a few of us that know this, but, and a lot of people are going to be stunned to know this, but, like, even when I first met you, you were a much more reserved version of yourself now until we got to really know each other. Cy si, si was a man that had a guard up, like, yeah. like, a, like a big guard. Like yeah. he, he kept you exactly this far. He's kind of watching. He's but, it, watching but when it. he let that wall go, he's who we all knew about. Yeah. But at first, I mean, if he's, this version of Cy didn't exist. He's until hard he, to get to know, and, and he's kind of uh, socially awkward. He's kind of watching everybody, and but he's not like – it takes him a while to warm up. But once he does, once you're in, you're in. That's they exactly just right. Socially no, awkward. no, he knows what I'm talking about. Well, no, about. no. Would you say I was an introvert? Yes, yes. Oh, 100%, All, yeah. which Only, is why we get along, because so am I. I mean, even but, though no, we sit here and expound no, week no, after yeah. week, like when I leave here, I'm just as happy to go home and sit in the dark and watch TV. But like, I would say, I <laughs> yes, yes, you are an introvert, but 
you are an extrovert once you get to know people and even a crowd you warm up to. All these millions of people, when you go and do shows, you start off and boom, you flip the switch. And I mean, it's. Well, no, no. Here's what's funny about that. Okay. <clears throat> In high school, okay, junior high and high school, you know, uh, when we got off the bus, okay, here comes the kids, okay. Phil's bunch, my bunch, okay, and we're telling stories, you know. But I am uh, reserved, okay. But one of the hardest things I had to do in the military, okay, is, is write people's report cards. Wait, how about you were over people in the military? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was E-7. What's okay. a report card in the military? Well, I'm not it's, it's an ER. E-E-R. Okay. The efficiency report. Okay. Yeah. So that was the hardest thing I had to do because I, I start writing it out to them, okay, and I'm going to, yeah, I got to dock him for this, you know. And then as soon as I'd write it down and read it, I said, well, dummy, you, you have problems with that. Yeah, and I'd get on it again. It it take me forever to do this. So okay? I got that big heart. So well, no, no, yeah. got that no, big no. heart. Well, he no, said. no, because every time I, I I when I meet anyone, okay, I never, you know, I I, I know people that as soon as they meet somebody, I say, hey, I tell, I tell his buddy, tell me, hey, don't trust that guy. You know, they always see the bad side. Okay, I'm just the opposite. Okay, because when agree I meet with you, that. you know, hey. Yeah. I wish you the best. You know, yeah. like if you want a million dollars, you come. Man, I just want a million dollars. You know, a lot of people tell me, that lucky duck, no rascal. Salty. Yeah, golly, you know. And I say, man, wonderful. Great. You got a million dollars. Don't be stupid and just blow it, you know, because a lot of people do. Yeah, 100%. But that was just, uh, you know, I've always been a good storyteller, and I guess. Pretty good at that. Well, true. no, no. I don't Tis know true. really how to describe this, you know, because at first when we all tried to film me duck hunting, okay, every time I seen the camera, I'd just lose it. Oh, you like a turtle. No, no, yeah. I, uh, hey. You like a turtle. In, yeah, inside my shell. Yeah. Well, A&E shows up, and hey, guess what? The turtle done turned into Superman. Yeah. Well, so, uh, the turtle, you, yeah. the turtle yeah. got brought out of his shell though on our first show, the yeah. Benelli Presents Duck Commander. Yeah. Show. Yeah, I mean, that's when you started like having fun with it. Yeah. But, but say, but, because you made a dead gum hook shot from the three point line, not true. not no, edited, no, not edited, not not like no, oh no, we're no. gonna show shot si shoot a hook shot and somebody else gonna make yeah. it. Yeah. No, Drano. Yeah. Spoiler alert, he had practiced it probably 50 times before then and hit the rim twice. So, and then, <laughs> oh, I've seen then no. lights, yeah. camera, Some action, no, no. Drano. No, no, look, you would have thought I had won, what is the, the basketball Super championship? Ball. All of the NBA championship, yeah, the the NBA March NBA Madness, you, you had would have thought I had won the NBA championship because, hey, the – the place went berserk. All the players even went berserk. They were shocked that I made it. Yeah, it was incredible. <laughs> yeah, It was incredible. I will say, I, I've seen Cy do some incredible things. I, he can turn it on, just boom, you know, when he gets in front of a crowd. But he's also one of the most loving people that I've ever met. And he just he's good at loving people. And I guess, Cy, your life, you're good at showing Christ through you to all these people. I mean, well, no, no, I, I had never thought about it, though. So the, the show, Duck Dynasty, we get released by Andy and all that, okay? I still go out and speak to people and all that. But I actually miss it, okay? Because I enjoy, and I didn't really realize, I enjoy being in front of people and talking to people. Yeah. And, like, two of the best sermons I've gave, one was with uh, Richard, the Hellfighters, and then the other one was when I was in Minnesota with that bunch up there. Absolutely. And all it was, he, we, we was in the Hellfighters, and they're building this gigantic building. He, he's remodeling it, okay? And he finds about a, a piece of two before, about two foot wide. And I fixed to speak to this bunch. And Philip just draws the gospel symbols on that two before. Well, when I walk up there to the podium they had, I just... Bam! Axel Dugan. You're flat, and it bam! 
Loud. You got that trick from your brother. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> then I said, now that I've got y'all's attention, he said, I've been, I done gave you some, you know, side stories about growing up and all this. I, now I've got the real story I want to tell you about. And then I preached the gospel to him. That's, yeah. hey, that's, that's the two best sermons I've ever gave him. Okay. And it, with the help of a piece of tree, which they nailed Christ to. Yeah. 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 So oh, I would agree. When people ask me about you, I, I say the same thing every time. Just about like the only thing bigger than his personality is his heart. Like it's a, it's a cool thing. But it is funny when you tell people about the side, the vintage side before Duck Dynasty. Yeah. Well, like, growing up. Yeah. It's well, really you're like they're like, wait, he, he wasn't like that. I was like, no, it was <laughs> it, it was in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. He just would only let it out in front of certain people. He would only let it out once you once you gained his trust, not trust, but like once he knew that you weren't up to no good or anything. Once he was, once you were in with Sai, like he let he let his hair down. You know, <laughs> that's, what I mean? like, that's why I had said that you really don't realize. Okay, you know, and I need to say it better. One person, what he does or what he says can make a huge difference in this world. Amen. And you have no idea the long-term effect that something you say to someone else may, what may happen with that. So si, that's a great point because a lot of people are trapped inside of a role that they haven't really chose to play. Well, you get in a rut. Play. Yeah. Yeah, you get in a rut and you just, you can't see your way out of it. It's just too deep. You know, it's above my head. I can't I can't climb out of this. I think it was Bill Smith. You remember Bill? Yeah, oh, yeah. A One rut, of our elders. A rut ain't nothing but a grave with both sides knocked out, you know. Yeah. But people get into a rut where they only know how to play one particular role, and they stay there because it's uncomfortable. But once once they break out of that, then they can flourish. Well, Sadie asked me this. Tell me, she said, I asked everybody on the podcast, you know, uh, you know, Give me some advice. What's the best advice you give me? And you just talked about it. You know, you know, uh, most people are not comfortable with who they are inside. You know, and I mean, I, I went through it. I was always looking at somebody, God, if I could only be like that guy there. You know, he's so confident in everything he's doing. You know, Tommy was that way. Tommy was 14 and he knew what he wanted to do. I'm gonna be a coach. I'm gonna be in education, y'all. You know, and he was a superintendent when he when he retired. And I'm gonna shoot way too close to your head. <laughs> yeah, there ain't ever yeah, been a yeah. duck at coming to decoys oh, yeah. that I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't want to kill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tommy's uh, your oldest brother? Uh, no, he's the uh, what? Jimmy Frank Harrell, Judy, Tommy. Yeah. Okay. He's the fourth. You know, down Phil. the line. Yeah, they had a they had a I good look. Like a they had tree. no. They had a good little streak there. Tommy, Phil, Cy. And like, look, the hey, middle no, no. of that thing. No, no, about it got two years real apart. Yeah, about two years apart. And, and <laughs> yeah. when we was growing up, no, no, when we was growing up, it's it, like this. Here we go. Oh, we're pulling out cups. Oh, oh no. No. no, visual aid. Oh, I know this no. song. Visual aid. Me, me Phil, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> hey, Tommy's the leader. Phil's next to him, but like this. Yeah, <laughs> we was frogging him one night. We're coming back after dark. We're uh, uh, gonna try to do my best oh. play by play with these <laughs> no, cups no, no. for our listeners. Hey, look, toe sack for the frogs on on our back, <laughs> on the back. Yo, know? well, hey, Tommy stopped. It's bam, right, bam. bam. That cup <laughs> ran into that cup in the mug, which is side <laughs> squish the cup. Oh. And look, I gotta tell y'all this, and I have no idea what was walking behind me. Hmm. This was the time we was just what I was talking about frog. And look. I feel eerie, like something's looking at me. I always feel like no, 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 no. Look, you got to understand this. Together. Look, I turn around and something, red eyes right here. Was it a bat? I have no idea. Look, squatch, squatch. It, no, no, it turns around and runs and it goes in a cupboard. We go up there. A wait, wait, wait. A culvert? A yeah. culvert. Oh, okay. Not a culvert. Big, a, and, big, a big pipe. And yeah, a concrete pipe. You. Yeah, a culvert. Okay, yeah. so we stick our heads in it. Well, it smells like a skunk. Then get out of there. No, no, we did. You know, but they were saying, well, what was it? He on that skunk ape. Skunk and I said, hey, bag. I have no idea. I said, all I know is <laughs> it was eye to eye with me. <laughs> But look, you was a little coffee cup, so I mean. Well, no, no. Hey. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Uh, hey, but I hey, like it. The greatest years of my life. I'm serious, because people said, "Okay, here, here's what's happening. The world is coming to an end, and we've got time machines. You can get in it and punch in where you want to go. Year, everything, where you want to go. 2010. And I said, where do, where do you want to go? I said, hey, back to my childhood at Dixie, Louisiana. Because when my mother would get sick of me, Phil, and, and Tommy, <laughs> she'd put us in a Falcon, drive 15 miles up the levee. Levee's got a hole in the Red, Red River. On the other side is Red River. And told me, she'd tell get out. I Child don't protection. Wanna, I don't want to see you till supper time. 15 miles? 15 miles. Hey, we'd, Good go, luck. we'd get on the river, push us a log off the bank, come down. Oh, there's an island. It's got a bunch of willow trees on. Let's see what's going on. So we're chasing each other, you know, running through the, the young willows, and we thought it was a cobra. Here's a big snake right up. He's a hog nose. He, he puffs out and looks mm -hmm. just like a cobra. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and again, just Tommy stop. Feel, bam, and we all just, mm, you know, Train Tommy, back it up, you know, back it up, fall over backwards, you know, Tommy, cobra, you know, and then Tommy looked at him, he said, no, nah, it ain't a cobra, he said, I've seen a picture of it somewhere in a, in a, in a uh, encyclopedia or something when I was doing, you know, homework, he said, just back up and let's watch him, you know, so we backed up and it was, you know, and it, it looks just like a pig. Mm -hmm. He got a pig nose. Yeah, it turns straight up. Yeah, it it looks just like a pig's nose. Yeah. Then we walk up there and stake, you know, shake a stick and yeah. he's a cobra again. Yeah. All them yeah. old all them old timers around here call him a spread natter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That old spread natter, yeah. son. Yeah. They get you now. He's he's not poisonous. No. Oh, he is, he actually. You know what's funny is he's actually venomous. He is. Oh, is he's, he? He's got one fang way back, but. It's because he eats frogs. Like the only thing okay. he eats he is lives frogs. Off of frogs. That's he's a frog diet. eater. Okay. So, yep, that's how he that and that's how he. Tommy said it was. Tommy said toxins. he he must inform me. Tommy said he was not important. But he's not gonna get you. Yeah. Okay. Like okay. I mean, he okay. gotta he gotta get you and then be there for a minute. If well, he, he's like a coral snake. He's so it, 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 yeah. He'd have to. And it's just, a very mild venom. Yeah. Like oh, you may get a little. Well, he ain't like a coral snake. And, cause no, because that coral snake kill you. He yeah, bad to bone. Yeah, red on yellow. Yeah. Kill a fella. Yeah. yeah, kill a fella. Yeah. Red on yellow, kill a fella. Red on black, friend of Jack. That's there you right. go. Friend That's, of Jack. Hey, hey, I've been looking for Jack all my life. <laughs> Learn something new. Hey, let's take a quick break and we'll come back. And I don't know where we're going to go, but I like the deeper <laughs> side of side. I like, side. I like it. Welcome I like it. to the deep side with Circle Side. Si, do you have Bitcoin? He got, a he got a bunch no. of No, Si's got something better than Bitcoin. That's right. He's hey. got Omega XL. <clears throat> That's right. Have you got any? Booyah. You got Back any almonds? Elmonds. Or you got any inflamed skin? <laughs> okay. Then, of course hey. I do. I'm an old man. I'm 31 years old. I'm falling apart. So hey, you're, <laughs> hey, your face is red. Okay, so it here. may be inflamed. Si, help so what out, should si. I do? Hey. Tell us about that Omega look, XL, hey. Si. Look, boys, hey, this is 30 years of research and development. 35. Hey, 35, excuse me. And, hey, it's going to work for J.D. Because it comes okay. from the pristine waters of New uh, Zealand. New Zealand, boy. Oh, that's exactly hey. right. While pain relievers and topical rubs just mask the problem, Omega XL neutralizes the inflammation that, that causes stuff. painful, stiff joints and muscles. The doctor said something else that stuck with me. She said, with my prescription pad, I can't come close to writing anything I was that Omega take, XL I was can do. going to take me one. Well, take but you I, two of no, them. No, no. I took one this morning. So you've already had your one for the day? That's awesome. Look, we're going to help get you started. If you order Omega XL now, you can get a second bottle for free. Visit free. OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. That's 800-844-4888. Omega XL, working for, for you. you. J.D., it's an auto Order and then send me the free bottle. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. I keep buying them and you well, get the hey, free one. That's it. Hey. You buy yours and you get yours. You just get two. No, it's easier for you to buy it and I get your free one. That's true. You can hey, keep having it because I love hey. you. So we back to your childhood and talking about unidentified critters. I got a question for you. Yep. 
there's a lot of these unidentified critters. I, I mm -hmm. want to know side of you, but I mean, Sasquatch, is he there? Is he out there? Is that real? Is that imagination? I just, can I, can I pause this? Yeah. What you you know, this is going to go to a Black Panther, right? Like, no, 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 it's not. No, we'll no, leave the Black Panther no, out of this. No, I'm not yeah. going there. I've got, I got six emails today about Black Panther. Well, I know. <laughs> hey, look, we get it. Stop sending me pictures. The same picture from Georgia, Florida, North, North Carolina, Carolina, Illinois. The same Black yeah. Panther. Hey, it's the same Black okay. Panther, too. Yeah. So, not, the no. one, not the one that so, means you got. We're going to talk about mysterious critters that he has seen. No, but, not seen. I just want to know if he in. believes that they're there. The Black Panthers are off the table. Yeah, Black Panthers are out. Well, Sasquatch, where you at? Here's the thing. Okay, they say what they call it, Yeti. No, that's a different one. He's a different man. Well, I know. The boogie they, monster. They're the same. They kind of, kind of same. Yeti and uh, Sasquatch or whatever you yeah, call. Yeah, Sasquatch. Okay. They have pictures. Okay, that they flash when they say, "Okay, do you believe in this?" All that. Mm -hmm. You know. So you got to understand. Okay, if you if you get in a helicopter, you, this is just for the state of Louisiana. We back okay. on that helicopter. No, 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 no. There hey. are pine trees yeah, so thick. Yeah. That it's from here <laughs> down. Okay, and look, and not only that, then you go. say, okay, let's go to South Louisiana, South Mississippi, South Alabama, and go where there's marsh. So you think there's stuff out there people ain't seen? So, hey, there's stuff out there that, hey. Okay, so Sasquatch, you're going with a strong maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because of because of the area. Okay? Chupacabra, where you at with him? For sure. The guy in Texas. Oh, Johnny D's a for sure no, Chupacabra. No, 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 okay. look. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a lot of desert out there. Here's the thing. That's a lot bigger than There's the a forest. man that works, uh, you know, he goes when the storm blow out a uh, transformer, he goes and fixes them. Uh-huh. So he goes and he finds this a transformer, he gets up there and looks and, hey, something black, and I'm not saying it's a panther. I'm with you. Here, this this thing is oogly, okay, and he's got he's got teeth this long, okay, and look, he electrocuted himself. He climbed the stupid pole or jumped from a limb and landed in the transformer and it electrocuted him. Yeah. So this guy drags him out and takes a picture of him. Okay. You don't want to run up on this thing in the dark, and then hit a, hit him. In the face with a flashlight. Can so you? he sends that picture to me. Yeah. This guy does. Yeah. Where is it? And I think it was on your old phone. You may not have it. Oh, oh here we go. No, yeah. no, that's true. Well, no, no, it's true. It was on his old phone. Okay. Yeah, because it's hard to transfer. Look, okay, so I told Philip when he showed it to me. He said, look what Bull done pulled out of Transformer the other day. I said, good grief. I said, send that, get him to send you the picture. Yeah. And I said, you send that to Jason. Well, we well Jason... He sent to Jason and said, oh, you can tell this is a, a photo job in the camera shop. You know, you can look at this here. <laughs> a photo job in the camera yeah, shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, Jason. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, I said, Jason, if a black panther come up and snuck behind you and bit you on the butt, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, we're, well, we're, so, uh, remember? Uh, well, right. time I'm, out. But hey, I didn't say that was a black panther. Okay. I said, but right. hey. I got something. So it was a what, tubal cobbler? Tubal you cobbler. Cobbler. Out? I do have something in size defense. Okay. Keebler cobbler. Of a tubal cobbler. A lot right. of Bring unexplored territory. Um, scientifically, um, I'm at the California Academy of Sciences. They estimate around 86% of animals have only been discovered. And in 2020, 213 new species were discovered. I'm, here's what I'm going to tell you about that, coming from a biologist. This background. is a biologist. Statement. It's 101 okay. ants. Okay, okay. Yeah. That, 22 crickets. And like 15 now. 15 fishes. But what they're doing is running so much genetic testing that they're claiming stuff that once was one species oh. is now a new species. They got five new snakes. They, yeah, because they've been like geographically isolated and oh, stuff. Okay. They've known about a lot of this for years. It's just oh, now they have the technology and the testing. Oh, that together, reminds so. me. Okay, I seen this Wasting on on I nature. See, why series. don't I let Martin? No, no. Oh, I seen this on the nature series. Planet okay. Earth. No, no. no they nature. got this giant nature uh, camera <laughs> on one of these satellites that are orbiting Earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and they're over. The this Arctic. Is how they orbit. No, 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 no. <laughs> and hey, they're over orbiting, okay, the Arctic. Yeah, that's cold. Down well, there. now they found a new. That's up there. Uh, 
species yeah. of penguins. Penguins? Yeah, penguins. No penguins. And hey, no, no, and look, here's how they found it. The Arctic is white with snow. Uh oh, wait a minute. There's dark brown trail. A big a big dark brown trail. You know what it is? Penguins. Polar bear bath? Penguin no, oh. penguin poop. Nice tracking. Penguin, that, penguin, hey, penguin that's poop. how they found this new species of penguin, by their poop. They must have a pretty good pile going behind so, them. So, look. See hey, it from space? Yo, it's just one of them things, okay. And look, you didn't say it, but hey, there's a lot of species going extinct. Yeah. Well, new species are popping up. Yeah. Hey. I agree. Hey, here's, no, your I, sat, here's your satellite, Sai. Nah, it's got a yeah. little wobble uh, to it. Hey, no, it's just, uh, you know, it's circling. It's I'm gonna orbiting. Go, I'm going to go with Charlie, orbiting. Charlie Daniels said it best. There are just some things in this world you just can't explain. Hey, hmm? I agree. I just well, that's why I said a maybe. On I, the I got one more. I just one more mythical creature. I'm just curious about. No, excuse me, mythical. Don't don't hear me say it. Not proven species. The legend of the woolly swamp. No. Nah. Loch Ness monster. Loch Ness monster. I need to know about Nessie. Where? Oh, you I hung him, boys. Didn't y'all <laughs> oh, see that episode? Uh, <laughs> he broke my line. I had him. Okay. <laughs> I remember. I was just wondering if you remember. Because I was in Scotland with you. Hey, there it is, boys. Yeah. Hey, hey, he exists. I, I was wondering him. if you remembered old Nessie's. Yeah. Yeah, I hung him, boys. I hung him. Hey, he, this is going. This is just totally insane. Stripped okay? his drag. Hey, but I got to do it. Okay. He's got to go there. I got three questions here. Okay. All right. About three species. Okay. okay. Buckle up, gang. The, the common housefly. Yeah. How did it get here? What's its purpose and where is it going? <laughs> then, the buzzard. How did he get here? It's What's his purpose and where is he going? And then what else? Uh, so a house. Oh, yeah. And then the last one. Okay, you fans start doing this. Okay. Then the mosquito. Oh, I'm with you on him. Okay. What's his purpose? And where, and where is he going besides sucking blood out of me yeah. when I go squirrel hunting? I agree with you. Yeah, on all three of those things, I mean, but what it's funny, like two of the three that you described are decomposers. They're here to clean up the mess. Bingo! Uh, Give that boy two points. <laughs> but the fly and the mosquito are also pollinators, so they help pollinate flowers to keep things Hey, without going. them, guess what, boy? Yeah. No fruit, no vegetables. Now, I do, I, I don't understand why they had to get a certain appetite for human blood. Yeah. That's kind of, yeah. that's kind of sucks. Yeah, a but, vent, a mosquito know. is a type of vampire. Yeah. And a buzzard, you know, he just, he's there to build a nest and he duck blind and crap all over the Ooh, place. That's hey. Stink. Rough, yeah. Yeah, Golly, yeah, stink. Yeah, uh, that was just one of the blinds that we just decided, no, nah, it ain't worth it. An much. old buzzard blind. Yeah. You want to talk about stink? Good Lord, did it stink. But yeah. a baby buzzard's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> White thing, like, eh, yeah, eh, yeah, yeah. Know, he's kind of, he's kind of a baby a cool buzzard is cute, but hey, uh, kind of in like think, a you know ugly kid kind of way. Because he was talking about the scientist that you of deal, but hey, here's here's the thing that I to with me. Okay, yeah, he yo yeah, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that boy had been whooped with an ugly stick. Okay? If you Google but anyway, buzzard, you you gotta you think about cute. this. This is what hit me when I come up with them three crazy questions. All right. You know, think of all the species of everything that is on this earth. Mm -hmm. And then come up with them three questions. <laughs> now, what's a rhino? Where did he come from? Awesome. What's his purpose? You know, where is he going? Cool animal. Anywhere he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I that third one, boy. He's going anywhere he wants to. long as it ain't too big of a swim. That's it. And then the crocodile. Think about the crocodile. Yeah, big old lizard. Yeah, big old what lizard. What about the crocodile? Where's he hey, going? How'd he get What's here? What's his That's purpose? Right. How'd he get here? I know one thing. He knows when the wildebeest are coming to the river. Because <laughs> they're waiting on them, boys, when they come. You it's, a watching, mass, it's a you massacre. You watch that on the Nature hey, Channel? I got that on the Whenever Nature Channel, Whenever they come too, out baby. the water and just... Uh, hey, oh, oh, yeah. And then start... Look, they literally... I mean, this is a feast, okay? And the crocodile... Come to this spot every year, and then here comes ten thousand wildebeest, and there just and look, so happens to be the crocodile. Set up hey, on look, the crocodiles. <laughs> there's so many of them out there that the wildebeest are, are hoofing across them. Yeah, Martin, did and you just every once in a while, one jumps in there, and then you see a big crocodile grabbing. I think Martin just called the Nature Channel a conspiracy. 
It's not a conspiracy. You said they just happened to be there. The Cameron? Oh, oh, thinking about them. Look at that ugly sucker, boys. <laughs> Me and Sarah <laughs> watching <laughs> Will the Beast get shot. <laughs> hey, he's getting a drink of water. Watch <laughs> out, dummy. Don't do it. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. <laughs> oh, there's like seven of them. We might have. Ladies and gentlemen, Cy si just found YouTube, which you're watching this on. Uh, uh, hey, this hey, is, hey, I think incredible. this is planet Earth. Uh, there's yeah. even monkeys there. Even hey, Cy, si, when you get a little downtime, though, at yeah. home. You like Planet Earth, right? You need to Nature watch. Channel. You need to watch Snoop Dogg narrate Planet Earth. That's Don't, one of the it. best things you'll see on, in this life. He but got him, boys. Uh oh, got him. Uh -oh. Whacked him. All right, uh -oh. look, y'all keep watching that. We're gonna take a quick I'm break. We'll be right this. back. Hey, Cy, si, have you ever heard of scrotal distancing? Oh, I don't think so, buddy. Uh, hey, well, look, if you're struggling to separate your guys from your thighs, it's time for Tommy John's hammock pouch underwear. When you're wearing Tommy John's hammock pouch underwear, you're that much more comfortable so you can do everything better. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics, boys. Fanatics that call Tommy John's hammock pouch one of life's greatest inventions. With dozens of comfort innovations, once you've tried Tommy John underwear, you're never going to go back. It's like an air mesh interior hammock for the boys. A hammock? Hey. Like a hammock, son. With over 30 million pairs sold, boys across America love Tommy John underwear mm -hmm. because everything stays in place. No more flopping, sticking, or chafing. And right now, you'll get 20% off site-wide at TommyJohn.com slash duck. That's 20% off underwear and loungewear at TommyJohn.com slash duck. TommyJohn.com slash duck C site for more details. Nature's cool. No, no, that's the amazing thing. 5,000 miles from the Serengeti Plains. Look at that old boy. And look, they make it around every year. 5,000 mile trek. Totally amazing. I find a certain amount of satisfaction when you get to watch the zebras get dope pop. Oh. <laughs> what them? do you got against the zebra? It's our little horse, for uh, crying out loud. I would say, but people judge me that I deer hunt at a place that's got zebras and they run the deer. <laughs> oh, hey. And he wanted to pop one. I want to pop all of them. <laughs> hey. I'd like to throw a saddle on one and ride him. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm serious. You better not get around that male because he'll kick that you and break your back. Out. Just oh, ask no. all the all young male oh, zebras. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey, yeah. did I tell you, did I tell you about the game wardens when me and Si were popping all them hogs and we had some buddies with That's us? That's hilarious. We killed so twenty two hogs. Si said he killed fourteen. Hey, I but killed, I've got video. I killed fourteen video. of them. The ones running, up against, yeah. Yeah, the hey. ones running yeah. up against the corner of the fence. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that was the that's, that's sporty. <laughs> the game <laughs> wardens. Oh, it was. <laughs> the game wardens and the police hey, got there shooting yeah. pigs with a dove shot. <laughs> yeah, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you. Oh, he's riding a zebra. Oh, we're watching. <laughs> we're watching. Yeah. Oh, man, there's an ass. Hey, look, he had a jockey suit on. <laughs> I found a YouTube video, <laughs> and people oh, are racing uh, zebras. zebras. A couple of weeks ago, Cy oh. discovered Google. Now he's discovered oh, YouTube. Look at this. Hey, Cy, while you're there, be sure you subscribe to the <gasps> Duck Call Room oh, channel. Oh, that guy's there. He lost his beast zebra. Watch this. He's watch this. Hold on. Watch this. So beat? they're... Look, this is, th yeah. these people are legitimately oh, yeah. racing zebras, <laughs> and they're just bucking them off. Oh, like, they're like, no, nah, we're, we're not horses. Hey, in case y'all want to know what we do in the breaks here, we're with size watching people ride zebras now. Um, it's kin to a guy on a buffalo. Hey, that's like a, hey, no, no, that's like a three-ring circus. Oh, the guy on the buffalo. Yeah, Don't this show is like a three-ring circus. Look. Now they're racing ostriches. Oh, them ostriches are dope, man. Oh. They're fast. I had one. Look, I had an ostrich run me back in my truck one time hunting uh, a place in Texas. Oh, no, no, no. Look. Uh, he run me back in my truck. Mac Owens had a bunch of them. Okay. Ostriches and emus. You know, yeah. You know, hey. Do you know that's my uncle? Yeah. Okay. And do, you, do you also <laughs> no, know there's he, not an S on just the end of the name? Well, hey, look. It's been a struggle all these years. <laughs> they have eggs this big around. Okay. Make a good omelet. Uh, no, no. One of them jumped up and planted that big three toed foot of his it's... right in. Owen's chest knocked him down. Owen's. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. There's hey, not a They will give you a whooping boy. Well, no, Owen's chest is a possessive. Okay, that's uh, that's right. apostrophe. Yeah. But there. still, Phil inside hey, can't help. Oh, I know. You know why, da John David? You know why? There's because camels. When <laughs> 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 We're racing camels now, boy. 
<laughs> All right, there's something <laughs> called Canterbury Park, and okay. wherever that is, they okay, raise zebras, well, right. ostriches. Look, well, let's get, race track. let's get, you said you had something before we got started, an interesting email that would send oh. us down a trail. So let's yeah, let's, I, let's, let's go, go trail walking. Trail. That's right. Let's go mountain talking. Let's go, walking. Let's go trail riding on a zebra, I'm, on a zebra. I'm a little on upset a that I just exited out of YouTube. Right. I feel like I could watch YouTube videos with you all day. You haven't really dove into no, no, YouTube. No, no, hey, this yeah. is, hey. But Look, I can't use one of them stupid things. It won't work for me. Okay, so the hey. zebra it didn't work for the people. In the no, video. the stupid uh, computer, you know, uh, laptop. Okay, lab okay. a laptop. A laptop, boy. All right, my man Jeffrey from Washington State. Or Washington. Uh, he apparently watched our one where we let Cy si just ask me questions to Google, mm -hmm. and he was curious about if hurricanes spin backwards. Mm -hmm. And we talked about toilets. Oh yeah. <laughs> So he sent in, um, he lived in Uruguay for nearly four years. Uruguay. Uruguay. Three different houses. All their toilets flush straight from front to back. But there was also a bidet. Oh. And a you know, I have strong opinions about bidets. <laughs> John hey, Davis. Tell Cy what that is. I have no idea what a bidet is. <laughs> oh, this is you even Not a bidet. It's maybe not a bidet. A night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's time not out. a beignet. Don't YouTube this. <laughs> no. <laughs> bidet. We're going to get <laughs> a. You don't YouTube. know what a bidet is? No. The toilet. You know what a bidet is? <laughs> <laughs> or a banana? He just bidet? said, do you know what a bidet <laughs> is? Banana? Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what's up a day? So yeah. up a day. Why don't you just is beside the toilet or hooked onto the toilet, and it's used instead of toilet oh good pack. grief, <laughs> and just good to give you a little grief. rinse. You uh -huh. use it to rinse off I'm not yourself. Sure. A wash. Oh, hey, when I do, I want to take a bath, I'll go take a bath or a shower. But okay. after you, go I don't to the, need a bidet. But after you go to the bathroom, it's 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 got to be cleaner than paper. It's an auto clean. So you've never, well, you don't even know what a bidet is. Have you ever Have used one? Have they got one? one of them that walk-ins where hey, you just like to drive through? You know? no, well, hey, look. Like a car wash? Like, like a, a car wash. Like hey. a water Working hose. at the car wash. Uh, now, that's called a hey. shower. Um, hey, that's, well, that's what I told you. But you've never, like, because you've lived a lot of places. Germany. That aren't America, and bidets are around there. Well, I never run into one, okay? You've never ran into a bidet. No. Yeah. Would you use no. one? I ain't right. run into one or backed Look, up against one thing, either myself. That would be so. like a nightmare. <laughs> All right. A, a no, nightmare. No, 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 that'd be like a nightmare. I got to use it. Okay, do a number two and I sit down and... <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay, it's not like I a, don't think so, J.D. <laughs> that thing ain't got the power of Old Faithful, Yeah, son. it's, well, it's hey, not a no. geyser, though. Hey, well, hey. Old fire hydrant. Phil, have you ever used a bidet? Is everybody going to be honest? Yeah. I, I have a bidet. Uh, John David owns okay, one. Uh, yes. Maybe two. You have one of them in your house. Ye correct. Hey, no one of your kids are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I will say. What I'm telling you. I went in there one time and they had this it. this morning, son. Here's, here's the bidet all, got here's me. All, here's all I'm going to say. is look, traumatized for life. Si, if you look back, everything's starting to make sense now, right? No, no stop it. You got no. a Rolex. Okay. Queen yeah. size bed. And I like to yeah. be clean, bidet. man. Toilet paper free. Right, look, that is a bidet, yeah. man. Look, yeah. uh, if okay. you were, if you, if you were cleaning an animal and you got crap on your hand, would you just wipe it off with a piece of paper, or would you wash? No, or then, or I, would water I, get I, involved? This is 2021, son. We got you know, we got you know, water, soap. <laughs> So, hand, so why don't you treat your backside the way the same way you treat the rest of yourself? I want to know mind, everybody's hey. opinion on this. If, if we're going on oh, this road, I got to know. Let me tell that. you something. The people that don't like me in the YouTube comments are about to have a field day on me. But guess what, people? Get a bidet. Get yourself clean. Well, look. Okay. So what if we combine those worlds? Clean your mind. A bidet and toilet. What if we combine them and call them? Say, oh, I don't know. Baby wipe. Where do you stand on them? I'm fine with baby wipes. You use baby wipes, don't you? Flushable wipes. I got a thing of dude wipes that never leave the back seat of my truck in That's case important. nature calls. They're very uh, easy. Phil? Martin? Baby wipes. Phil has used a bidet. No. Yeah. yeah, but I have used a bidet. Uh, my friend's grandparents had one, so I had to go check it out. Thank you. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, it's awesome. Well, si? Hey, y'all go, yeah, go, go ahead and use your bidet. <laughs> I'm going to use the Benelli. <laughs> <laughs> 
there you okay, go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. You have it, boy. You heard it here first. Okay. All right. Well, I right. saw that email, and I just really thought right. we needed a full discussion on bidets in America. Hey, also, remember in 2020 when everybody was out of toilet paper? In your faces. What do you do if you lose power? <laughs> water. Okay. And what if you lose water? Your water station don't run off of power? I've never lost water. He's never really? lost water. I He's thought dead. that was I mean, gravity. Do you think that he does not gravity have some kind of generator in his house? You? The water? Water is coming from above you? What kind of water tower do you have? You That's what a water tower is. So, so your water oh, co- your water oh, main is on top oh, of your house. Hey, you I don't know where day, it is, but the, the rest of the water, is, your water main is on hey, top no, of your house. But, your day is hooked to our water tower. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, it would shoot you sky high. Do you think the water? I just thought that's how it works. The, do you think the water gets Hold to on. your house through like the electric lines that are run across? No. The well, Hold on, Martin. Well, then John gravity's David. out because it would all go down but if that's it's bare. The water tower. John David, there. has your electricity <laughs> ever went off? Yes, and I didn't lose water. Uh, we our electricity went off for two weeks. He's probably got some kind of hooked up generator that no. keeps well, his bidet going. Well, bidet and bidet. It, it would right. fit bidet with the and Rolex and the night boy. Time out. I I didn't know. Pe- I only had like one friend lose water in our neighborhood whenever the power went out for the two hurricanes. Uh, y'all lived on the end of that gated street. Mm-hmm. I, you no, got to have a Rolex I, to get in. I, You're right. The gate didn't show up till after you were out. I and I was. Be- I lived before the gate. Though. I know. I know. You were a rich, You were an OG uh, on Yellowwood. No, go. I'm giving you. are an OG on Don't Yellowwood. Don't you be saying that street name. <laughs> oh. Jace is going to be mad at you. <laughs> Uh, JD, ladies Whoops. and gentlemen, bidets are awesome. And it ain't like I gave out the gate code. I, it's just, oh, never mind. Sorry. I do have. I do want to say one thing. <laughs> I really need to look up <laughs> how water works now because I did, my my water has nothing to do with power. Oh, it does. Somewhere, I guess it does, if but not water, at my house. If your service station for your water loses power, you're in trouble. Poor folks. Hey, are we ready? Too. Are we yeah. ready for a bidet break yet? Yeah, let's take Go a break. Go use the bidet. <laughs> I'm gonna get, bidets are like twenty dollars. We're putting one in. What else? What are we ah, at, we're back. What do we? We're we're back with our final segment. We're going to stay in this email bag. Uh, hello at Duck Call Room. H e l l o at duckcallroom.com. Send us your thoughts and questions, and we're just having some fun. Johnny D, what else we got in there? I, I do want people's opinion on bidets. If y'all want to just email that in, I'm sure it's not going to be high. But <laughs> he said opinion. He said opinions, folks, not pictures. So oh. uh, <laughs> we are we're opinions only. So. All right. Well, we got uh, Chef Zach in Sh- Arizona. Oh, chef! I like a chef now. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, does he have a picture of himself? What part of Arizona? Uh, the picture of him is of a grizzly bear. Oh, in Arizona. I don't, it, there's a picture next to his name. They're heading south, boys. It's a group. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everything was bear. heading north. Um, These he's, boys here are heading he south. He says, thanks for spreading laughter and happiness. Uh, but he wants to know what would our last meals be? Like, if I guess if we murdered somebody, if we had a yeah. last meal. Right or, before you go into the chair. <laughs> or just, you know, right before you've lived a long, happy life. Yeah. What if, would your last if you meal know, be? Yeah, Sai, what was you your last meal right before you would be, almost hey, croaked? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Two, and I, when I what, cro- cro- almost cro- croaked. When I croaked. <laughs> okay. That would be for Jay Stone to cook a beef tenderloin. Okay. It's getting very specific. Okay. Mm, wow. In the trash can. Okay. That's, what, that's what we call his smoker. It's a 30 gallon drum and it's it sits up. It's about four inches off the ground to let the, you know, uh, air flow. And you smoke it in there, and he smokes it to uh, the temperature of 137, and then it is perfect. So your last meal, that's Would it. be a tenderloin cooked by oh, Jay the, Stone. the internal temperature. Yeah, right the internal yeah. temperature. Yeah, then you, let, then you let him rest. Medium, yeah. medium rare, perfect. And I always tell him, hey. Cut mine off the end. So I like that end piece. And I, I like, like to get I on like, that bark. He hey, going to get yeah, his end all, piece. That's all the bark there, boys. Yeah, so the, and look, you got to have Sasatchewan, if that's pronounced right. <laughs> that is. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it was butchered. Uh, but anyway, it, that that seasoning, okay, because you, hey, you sprinkle it on this tenderloin. 
and the red tenderloin actually turned solid black with that uh, that bark. Saskatchewan? All right, we know what size. And hey, what? it is fine as frog hair split 48 times. What, what Are there sides? Uh, no, he's, just, he's nah. a carnivore. Hey, uh, get the no meat. sides? Uh, meat eater. He's a meat eater, boy. Meat eater, All boy. right, I got mine ready. Glass, glass. He got his ready. What, what are you yours? Feel? Right before the hot chair lights me up, Uh-oh. it's going to be a... Uh, yeah, let me get a uh, welcome to Captain D's. Let me get a deluxe <laughs> seafood platter. <laughs> seafood platter. Cut the hush puppy add breadstick. Uh oh. Green beans and coleslaw. Large Uh-oh. sweet tea. Captain. Then I'm ready. D's. Uh, that's it. Ca- what? Hey, he yeah. did the crime, boys, and then hey. Oh, I'll do. I'll do the crime. He gotta do the for time. Captain D's. Boys. I have no word. I know. He, I his like last meal is from Captain D's. Look, Captain D's. I'm going to put it Hey, and y'all call me crazy. Like, hey. if you just said, like, Popeye's yeah. spicy fried yeah. chicken, yeah. like, I'd probably yeah. get behind that bag. Yeah. That's a good one, yeah. too. But, but like, here's the deal. Captain D's. Greasy man, D's. I've, man, but their cheese sticks are good. I'm not uh, going to say that's that. the worst. All uh, right, that's his. Worst no, food I've get, ever heard. We got to move on. No, no, oh, I can't. Get okay, off this. let's Look, go on down the trail. I'm gonna stick on. We're this. just letting Captain D slide like this. Yeah, we got to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm. Hey, mailbox money for just. Little I'm gonna piece. stick on Yo, the Captain uh, D's here, boys. But I'll stick with the seafood shrimp. But I'm, I'm going to fry mm-hmm. my own crappie. That's that's what I'm gonna eat. Like I'm going out. I'm having me some fried crappie and some French fries, and that's. That's what you boys going out. That's with. a good homeboy yeah, meal, yeah, boy. Yeah, you ain't yeah. wrong. You ain't wrong with that. I'm gonna go catch them the day before, clean them that night, and then the next day I'm gonna cook them for my last meal and call hey, it. Hey, here's a trick to you to do, okay? Because Miss Stone just got back from Mississippi and we caught some crappie, and he did them in crappie nuggets. He cut them in just little bite-sized deal, mustard them, I'm salt, out pepper. On you know, I don't want. I don't want a crappie. Bite. All right, and hey, and. F- Flour and then I, fry them I in know. hot grease. But I just don't. Oil. I don't want a crappie bite. I I like the whole filet. Oh, like, I like breaking into that oh, center okay. right, and it's right. just big white All meat. Right. Yeah, don't I rule like them that. out though. You oh, I'm not gonna rule them you out. Try them. I'll eat them. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not saying but not that. for a last meal. Yeah, All not right, for JD. my last. Meal. My dad recently turned a pork loin into pork nuggets. Pretty good. Pro tip: Do that. But is that your last meal? No, it's not my last meal. But my last meal is a toss up. But same as you, but my dad cooking it. Yeah, French fries. Crappie, or you boys are big on crappie, ain't you? Love them. Oh yeah, hey, love them. I've got, I've got like, I can't even do this because I got a little Italian excuse me flavors in me. If my wife would make her homemade lasagna from the Pioneer Woman, shout out to Pioneer Woman, she's the best, and our homemade sourdough pizza. You tell we do a Ms. lot K? of homemade pizza nights. You tell me, Miss K. No, the Pioneer Woman. Well, who's the Pioneer Woman? The pine, that's her name. Reed Drummond, oh. pioneer Drummond. woman. She's kind of got a. She's kind of a big deal. It's kind oh, of a huge deal. deal. Okay. If you're, know. if anybody here is listening that knows her, tell her I love her. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. She taught my wife how to cook straight up. If you oh, do hey, not know you how to all cook, right, all right, all right. pioneer woman can teach you. But uh, lasagna, pizza, homemade, one meal wife. at a time. So Katie. you're sa- you're saying you're gonna get on that buffet bag? Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I, I might make my nachos too, just in case I want oh, seconds. Because oh, okay. I also JD's like good today's Mexican buffet night. night for him, boy. It's like the, the Golden right Corral, yeah. except I'm making it all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There you go. Well, look, that's great. Awesome emails this week in the hello at duckcallroom.com bag. Johnny D, let's send us out of here send with a Bible verse. Send us out with verse. a verse. Psalms 2 4. I was just at a Bible study the other day, and a man told me about this verse. The one enthroned in heaven laughs is at the beginning of it. Uh, if you're reading the whole chapter, it's about people conspiring and plotting in vain against the Lord, and all he does is sit back and laugh because he knows who has won the day at the end. And hey, if the good Lord can laugh at bad situations, we can too. Psalms 2 4. The good Lord. The chapter 2. Verse chapter four. 2, verse 4. Okay. The right. one enthroned in heaven laughs. laughs. I think it's important to laugh. Yep. Hey. It's a good psalm. Hey, how's it going? All right, we're out. All we'll right. see y'all next Tuesday. Laughter cures a lot of ailments, boy. <laughs> <laughs>